All right, so we're going to talk about the Uniswap token. So uh, the Uniswap token airdrop. I'm going to uh, talk about this, and and I just put a video up. I just took it down because it definitely is a scam. Now I hate the word scam. I had several people message me and said, "Hey, you know this, you know this looks like it's a scam." One person said, "Everything in Telegram is a scam." Well, that's not necessarily true. I've absolutely done airdrops, participated in airdrops before in Telegram groups. Of course, you end up getting like, you know, a couple of dollars, a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, nothing major. But I've done airdrops. Now you may say, "But wealth, you should have known it was too good to be true." You got almost thirty dollars worth of, you know, tokens. You know, and by the way. Now it's showing I got five hundred and forty six dollars worth of tokens. If you go to Uniswap right now, if you come over to Uniswap right now and you take a look at Uni tokens and you look at them in USD, let's see, true USD five forty six. It'd be worth two thousand dollars worth of uh, USD. Now, so you think then that sounds too good to be true? Like you know, you should you should know better, et cetera, et cetera. But understand, I'll link a video above. Uniswap just did an airdrop for free, and people said that was a scam too. I actually ended up kicking a guy out of our paid course because he was such a moron. He he wouldn't do even basic research. And I'm going to show you kind of how I uh, how I, I do this stuff, but. Basically, they just gave away 400 free uni tokens. That's 16, $1,700. Anyone, in fact, if you haven't claimed yours, you have them right now. If you have ever used Uniswap at any point in the past and you have a MetaMask wallet, meaning with the MetaMask account, as long as you still have access to that account, you have 400 Uniswap tokens that you can withdraw right now. It is legit. Uniswap talked about it on their website, et cetera, et cetera. You can withdraw them right now. They're yours. So when I saw this in the Telegram group, I thought, okay, this is interesting. You know, it's not 400 tokens, but you're getting like, you know, I forget, it's like five to 15 tokens or whatever daily that you can claim. And I was like, wow, okay. The first time I did it, I think I got 12 tokens. I was like, wow, $50 worth of tokens. Um, a buddy of mine got nine tokens, that's $38. And then, uh, so I thought, okay, I got to let people know about this. So I went and I mentioned Discord group. I did a video about it. I sent an email out to everyone uh, in our Passive Profits newsletter as well, because I didn't want anyone to miss out on this. And and someone came back and said, "But you know, it's Telegram." So here's the thing. I was like, "Okay, it's not costing us anything. They're not taking anything away from us. Why not do this? It's totally plausible. This could be legit because they've given away a thousand dollars before. Because." Someone in Discord said, I don't see any official announcements from Uniswap. It's true, but Uniswap does cheeky things. These are the people who created the sock token, right? And you got free socks just for basically, you could buy the token and redeem the token for free socks. Like they just do. And then when they did their, you know, uh, their airdrop, the people who own sock tokens got a lot more than the people who've ever used a Uniswap platform, which is just kind of funny and crazy at the same time. So it's a governance token. So they're trying to find ways to get the token out there. So it's plausible they could be doing a giveaway. And I thought, what's the big deal? There's literally nothing. All you got to do is come in each day, claim. You're going to get your bonus. Boom. And I thought, what? I don't get it. You know, I don't see what the big deal is. And then someone said, uh, I went back to the person who I heard, someone I trust, who mentioned it to me the first time. That's how I found out about it this morning. Which, by the way, it's not his fault. He didn't know this. I'm responsible for paying attention. And that's what I did. One of my uh, email subscribers said, I'm looking forward to you making the video of doing a withdrawal. And I thought, well, okay, I'll make the video. Either way, I'm going to make the video. Like That's a no-brainer. So here it is. I went to try to do a withdrawal to see if I could even do it. And I wanted to wait because gas fees are so high. First of all, when I, I didn't know we had to have a minimum of 400 uni tokens. That was the first little bit of a red flag. I didn't know we had to have 400 uni tokens before we did the withdrawal. But if you can claim you know, five to 15 a day, it wouldn't take you long to get to 400, even without any referrals or anything. So I thought, okay, that's not a big deal. Um, but then when I went to withdraw, uh, the, I went back to the guy and said, Hey, have you been able to withdraw any tokens? And he said, no, they're saying they're stealing gas fees. Don't do it. And I thought they can't steal gas fees. Like you got to consent to gas. They can't take that away from you. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and forget it. I'll pay the gas fees. Hopefully, I'll get another 400 if this is legit, but let's see. Claim bonus. 
I already did that. Wallet withdrawal. I entered my wallet. Click withdraw. This is where it payment created. Send gas fee 0 0.047 amount to below Ethereum address. This doesn't make any sense. When you click the withdrawal payment in Uniswap, it happens automatically. I'm not Uniswap, sorry. MetaMask. When you go to send payment or something, it happens automatically. If I go to send gas fees here, I'm going to have to... This isn't really a gas fee. They're just charging a fee. They're basically it's like saying... They're basically saying, hey, we've got $1,000 for you, but you need to send us 100 so we can give you 1000 That's basically what they're saying. Anytime you see that in real life, that's not legitimate, right? But they're, they're, look, watch this. This is clever. This is the clever part where they, they, I can see someone thinking, well, what if? And that's what people do. That's how they get you. It's like, but what if? I got 500 tokens, well, 626 tokens. What if it's legit? You know, that's over $2,000. So I'm going to risk, you know, 0 0.04 ETH to get, you know, about 4 ETH. So is it worth the risk? Well, don't do it. It's just, there's no reason you should have to send money to get money. You're not investing in a business. You're not buying a product. There's no reason to send money to get money. So right here, when they say send gas fees, the reality is if I go to send this, watch this. So they're telling you to send a gas fee here. So you put in the amount for the gas, 0 0.4, whatever, whatever, but you're still going to have to send gas. Like, and and it's it's looking like it's lower for whatever reason. Maybe gas is low right now, um, but there, you're still gonna have to send gas along with it. So that doesn't make any sense at all. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, that's yep, that's it. That's the little jig is up. They want everyone to pay basically send them 0 0.047 Ethereum to make a withdrawal. So send money to get a withdrawal supposedly in theory. That's not gonna work. So whatever you do, don't do this. Now look, here's where they get you. This is the clever part. Cancel fee ten uni. Holy crap. I'm going to lose, you know, roughly $30, $25, you know, if, if I cancel this fee. So it's like, uh, the, the fee to cancel is almost as much as a gas. So either way you can, if you don't realize the, the, the jig here, if you don't realize what they're doing, you can feel like, so if I cancel, I'm losing, if I send it, I'm losing, maybe I'll just go ahead and send it. But the reality is you can go ahead and cancel it because you're not losing anything because there's no, I mean, if you can't withdraw, there's no way to withdraw these. They're not going to be real. You cannot, cannot, cannot withdraw. So whatever you do, even though I sent out the, the previous, you got to use your, your brain a little bit. Whenever you see someone, whenever someone calls something a scam, I'm always leery because there's so many things in crypto that look like they could be scams. Like when they sent a thousand dollars, now it's roughly $1,600. It was 400, right? When they sent 400 tokens, $1,600. If someone told you you're going to get $1,600 free, would you believe them? Chances are no. But this is crypto. I mean, a year or two ago, I guess it's a couple years ago now, when Bitcoin Cash came out, I mean, people literally made a 30% return overnight. If you had $10,000, you had three, $4,000 the next morning because of Bitcoin Cash fork. And in that case, you did nothing for it. It was just sitting in your wallet. Instead of having one cryptocurrency, you had two. And that second one had a value. Your first one maintained its value. And I remember everybody, myself included, was trying to speculate what would happen if Bitcoin forked. Would it cause the price of Bitcoin to go down? Would it create an inflation scenario? What would happen? Well, what ended up happening is Bitcoin maintained its value 100%. And the other token had a market value. Now, it did end up dropping, but to this day, Bitcoin Cash has a market value, a real market value. So there's a lot of things in crypto that looks like it could be scams. But you have to ask yourself, if I'm wrong, what are the risks? If I'm wrong, what are the risks? And am I, am I willing to take on those risks? So, for example, people call things like CryptoTab a scam. Uh, CryptoTab does nothing. I, I, ha, I get emails all the time where people are like, it burns up your computer, uses up your computer. Of course, it uses your computer resources, but it does not use the amount that you think it uses. You already use your computer. It's using spare resources, yada, yada, yada. People are like, oh, they put spyware on your computer. I have thoroughly went through crypto tab thoroughly i personally can find no spyware i've been using it without incidents for a couple of years now i have uh the whole you know identity theft protection thing on i get notified if something happens overseas yada 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 you know i've never had any issues ever 
uh, around CryptoTab in any way, shape, or form that I have ever been able to detect. The only thing that ever happens, and it happens on the app, is there constantly on the app, I get a lot of push notifications. Uh, things like, hey, you know, now, it, you know, Bitcoin prices are up. Make sure you're mining. Are you mining on your other, you know, mobile devices? You know, so they, they encourage you to use a product on the app. But as far as malware, spyware, I've not been able to find anything. There is zero risk using the CryptoTab browser. So I don't, I don't care if someone's like, oh, you only make $5 a month if you don't have referrals. Well, first of all, I have 48,000 freaking referrals. But second of all, I don't care if I only make $5 a month. It's $5 a month for doing something that I'm already using. Google Chrome doesn't pay me anything. Microsoft Edge doesn't pay me anything. If you don't like it, move along. But so with that being said, now I want to make this clear. This is not a reflection of Uniswap. Uniswap themselves. This the, they they have not made. Hopefully they'll come out against this. That was the other thing. I was like, I don't see any notifications. I didn't see anything on their Twitter account. Hopefully they'll come out against this. But this has absolutely nothing to do with Uniswap themselves. Anybody can create a Telegram group and do this. Um, in fact, you will see impersonations of me at some point on YouTube. Ignore those. You know, all of the larger YouTubers. Once you you get so large, people will try to take your your uh, identity or whatever. I will never ask you for money inside of a, a telegram group discord group youtube comments so don't ever expect anything if you do anything you may purchase something but i will never directly ask you for money in any way shape or form so if you see that know that it's not me all that happened here is some bad people are trying to play a semi clever scam on people who don't know any better they're playing against your fear of loss so be very very careful i wouldn't waste any more time with this uniswap telegram sorry i mentioned it but at the same time i was trying to get out there as quickly as we could because i didn't know the last you know the last um the last airdrop that i was a part of every day that went by you got airdrop less and less tokens um so i was trying to be quick with it i didn't see any risk with it at all um, however, now that I go to withdraw this, you know, you're not going to lose a fortune. You're going to lose 0 0.047 Ethereum. So it's not like you're losing the house or anything, but don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're not going to get this uni tokens. You are not going to get them. I 100% promise you that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon. Cryptocurrency is the wave of the future. I love cryptocurrency. I know you love cryptocurrency. And together, we're going to be a part of this massive adoption that's going to take place in the world of crypto. Thank you for watching.